what most of us forget is that how you act and present yourself describes who you are. Are you classy? Are you old fashioned? Or you simply don't care? My name is Koi Wangoi and this is Inside Etiquette. If, for example, you happen to go to a fancy restaurant or an hotel and you order some food and, of course, you receive a call or you want to, you excuse yourself, you want to go to the washroom, this is how you leave your fork and knife, just like that, because we obviously hold the fork on the, with the left hand and the knife with the right hand. So when you come back, you can still continue eating. So this is how you leave your fork and knife and it means a pause. Our next uh, setup will be ready for the second plate. If for example, it was a five course meal and you're through with the first one, you want to go to the second one and you like the food, so you are ready for the second plate. So this is how you place your fork and knife. This means that you're ready like that. So this means that you're ready for the second plate. Okay, so the third one will be excellent. If you liked the food or the food was uh, tasty and it was good, you can thank the waitress or the waiter by placing your fork and knife like that. So your knife is in front and your fork is at the back, a little bit at the back. The fourth one will be, if you don't like the food, that the food was tasteless and you didn't like it, this is how you place your fork and knife like that you don't like the food and then the fifth one you finished your food and the food was good and you're done so you place it like that so obviously you cannot place this fork and knife set up like this when there is food in your plate so this means that you're done with your food well I hope you have learned something till next time it's your girl, Koi Wangoi.